had already picked out my grave His plan had moved forward to put me away I drifted so far, would anyone care that I'd soon be lost? I knew my destruction was a matter of time But Jesus appeared and said, this one is mine Now I'm safe from all harm For he walked through the storm when he came looking for me Hello and welcome to Addiction Free. I'm your host, Evangelist Candy Rose. Well, I am so excited to be sitting here in Brooklyn, New York. Now we got some testimonies coming up from some of the staff, uh, the people that went through the program and are being used by the Lord. So call somebody, text them, and tell them we're on the air. Hi, my name is Evan. I'm the outreach coordinator here at Brooklyn Teen Challenge, the flagship program. Um, we are the biggest uh, drug and alcohol rehabilitation program in the world with over 35,000 beds worldwide and um, about 300 being here stateside in the United States. And you know what, what, what's so awesome about Team Challenge is that we've found the solution and uh, we, we understand how it is to live a addiction free life and, and what that formula is and what that key factor is. And I believe there's many people in this world that um, are trying to solve this drug epidemic and trying to figure out um, a true solution, but um, what, what we figured out is that Jesus is the answer, and that Jesus is the way uh, of, of a true free life, and he's the one who can change the characters of a man. He's the one who can change a woman from, from stealing and, and being a thief to a giver, um, from someone who is a liar to telling the truth and a lover. And so, you know, I believe that with all my heart because, number one, I get to see it on a weekly basis here at this program and get to talk to people all over the boroughs here and all over the state um, and now the country and worldwide about this program. But I, I don't believe it just because I get to see it. I believe it because it radically changed me. And so I was a hopeless drug addict at one point in time and um, actually was a pastor's kid and raised in the ministry and knew the right things, but I never had a true relationship with Jesus. And uh, I saw myself in high school rebellious and, and lost and, and just uh, engaging in, in, in a sinful life. And well, little did I know that I would be lead myself into a heroin addiction. And in high school, um, I remember being uh, completing high school and had already been using heroin um, pretty much every day. And by the first year of college, I remember letting my parents know, listen, I'm, I'm addicted to, to heroin and I need help. And so um, that started the road. And that's when I first heard about Teen Challenge. And God radically transformed my life and he, he changed it. And uh, was it easy? No. Was it worth it? Yes. And um, nothing, nothing worth having ever is easy. And so it changed me so much and introduced me to a true relationship with him that now I've worked for the ministry for almost six years now and uh, get to see people change and, and introduce to Jesus. And ultimately, that's all that matters. Um, that's what we want to see the most and, and let people know that um, it's not the Jesus that's mocked on late night television. It's not the Jesus that is, is made fun of or... or um, or a racist Jesus, or a, um, a bashing Jesus, that's, that's not the God we serve. That's not the one who came and founded his empire on love and ultimately gave his life for me and you. And so that's what we're here to talk about. That's what we're here to share with people, and that's our passion. My name is Nicholas LeBoy, and I'm currently at Brooklyn Teen Challenge. And I've been involved with Teen Challenge since 2015, uh, when it radically changed my life. At 21 years old, or going on 22, I entered Teen Challenge. Uh, I didn't know what to do with my life, and I came to the point in life where I hit rock bottom, where drugs and sex and money weren't an option anymore, and I needed something more, something to cope to fill the void in my heart. Uh, by the age of 11 years old was the first time I've ever took a hit of marijuana. By the age of 15 years old, I snorted my first line of cocaine, and before you know Know it, it began to unravel and party and uh, just become a part of the wrong crowd and um, before you knew it I didn't know who I was anymore I didn't know who my identity was and um, I was in the midst of this all I went to church um, I played on a worship team at a young age I'm a drummer and uh, I went to church in Staten Island with a pastor named Stephen Martino um, and growing up it was very hard to uh, you know fully be sold out because how many of you know every, everyone wants everything in the world and wants to taste and see but Jesus says just come taste and see me and um, so when I came to Teen Challenge I began to learn how what it was to become a disciple of Jesus Christ 
And, um, you know, I was involved in, uh, you know, selling drugs. I, um, I started out with the cocaine and um, I wound up selling pills and becoming addicted to opiates and fully blown addicted to heroin um, by the age of 19 years old. And for two years, two and a half years, I battled it really hard. Uh, my mom worked overnight, so it gave me all the time in the world to pretty much do what I wanted to do. And I had a younger brother and I was setting a wrong example. And in order to change my life, I knew that something had to change inside of me, and I couldn't do it on my own. I tried time after time to detox off of the medication, uh, to take Suboxone, and, and, and be clean for a week or two. And when that script came, it was like the devil was calling my name, and I couldn't stop, and I, and I just drew closer to that. And, and, and so I couldn't do it on my own. I overdosed numerous of times. I got arrested numerous of times. Um, I was involved with organized crime. Uh, with some big people and uh, God just grabbed me and took me out of the mess and put my feet on solid ground and uh, I came into Teen Challenge in 2015 I began to see the life and as I walked around the circle in Long Island Teen Challenge I began to pray and ask God to mold and shape me to make me the man he wants me to become and uh, today I am a minister of the gospel I went to a Bible school I'm, I'm still continuing to go to Bible school um, I'm traveling around I'm preaching the word of God I've uh, went on missions trips to different countries and began to uh, prophesy my own life to speak life into the dead situations just like Ezekiel and um, today I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged to uh, just to, uh, reach out to the world and spread a message that there is hope there is freedom in the name of Jesus and when you call on God he'll answer you and when you uh, just admit that you're a sinner and you cannot do this on your own or you can't uh, you know uh, step by step you can't do this on your own Jesus comes comes right on side of you and he says, Peter, just look at me. Nicholas, just look at me. Keep your eyes on me and don't take your eyes off of me. And when you take one step after another, he'll begin to mold and shape you. He'll begin to change your desires of your heart and make him his desires. And I'm telling you today that there is hope in the name of Jesus. And Teen Challenge has founded me and grounded me and helped me mold and shape my life as a man of God. I'm a father of a four-year-old daughter. And today I can raise my daughter in church and show her that there's more to life. And, and, and that and Jesus, even when she's young, she can serve Jesus. And we sing worship songs together. Even when she comes to see me uh, in worship practice, she sings along with the songs. And I'm so proud because growing up, I didn't have a dad. Today, I got restoration with my father. My sister's uh, 33 years old. She has four kids. She graduated Long Island Teen Challenge this past March, um, turned her life around. My brother is currently eight weeks clean in a program in Staten Island. I have broke the shackles. And the, and, and, and the chains off my family and, and the generational curses and God is doing something new um, but me getting delivered my mother got delivered in the midst of it all and it was just a ricochet effect my dad's in my life right now uh, after 10, 10 or 15 years I'm um, just you know in and out of my life he's currently in my life fully right now and he works with the gangs and he investigates different, different things like that so it's pretty cool and I plan to go worldwide and spread the message of the gospel and just share that there's hope with everyone who thinks there's no hope. I feel like I got a David Wilkerson anointing to go up to any gang member, any drug dealer on the street and just tell them that there's a way out, that I have been here, that this is not the way. This is He is the way, the truth, and the life, and he will set you free and he'll set your feet on the solid ground. And I just give all the praise to Jesus Christ because he is the redeemer, he is the restorer, he's the one that can set you free, he's the one that can give you a new vision for your life, and when you you seek him first in his kingdom and all these things shall be added onto your life. You know, some of us, we like to seek the other things and we like to seek a job and money. We just like to seek fame. We like to seek popularity. But Jesus is the one to seek and he'll give you everything you need, everything you desire, everything your heart burns for and he'll make your desire set on him. So this is Nicholas LeBoy from Staten Island, New York, just giving Jesus all the praise. I hope this message reaches somebody today that needs the help, that wants to get set free. And I'm here to tell you to encourage you right now where you're at that Jesus can set you free. Hi, my name is Francine Hamill. I'm on staff here at Brooklyn Teen Challenge. I am uh, privileged and honored to be part of this ministry, a ministry of lives being transformed. I get to see them come in in darkness and leave in the marvelous light of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is such a joy to be a part of this ministry. Um, my testimony is... Um, I do women's ministry at my church, 
and choir and testimony came out to uh, share on a Sunday service and I got to hear the miracle stories and I was like wow I want to be a part of this so I started coming on Tuesday for chapel and I would I would be a uh, part of their uh, their church service I get to pray with the students and the Lord led me to volunteer here and I started working in the kitchen and I was volunteering in the kitchen and and, and I was just so elated to be a part of the, the work of the Lord and uh, never knew that I was led and called here to be a part of this team, to be a part of what God is doing in the lives of the broken. It is, it is just so awesome. I was a kid when I was young, I would want to help everybody. And I was told, mind your business, why are you helping this one, why are you helping that one, why are you down the block helping the old lady with the, with the garbage and whatnot. I thought from a young age there was something wrong with me because I had a servant's heart and I was living a, a life that people would just say, you know, just, just calm down, worry about your own family, worry about, you know, what, what's important, don't always help someone. So now I came here and I could serve and help in, in a ministry that needs love and I have so much love to offer. And it's just such, such a thrill to be a part of this. And um, I do women's ministry and my mission field was, was Teen Challenge. Early on when they came to the, uh, to the um, service, I said, okay, I'm gonna give to Global Teen Challenge. I, I had it on my backdrop, Teen Challenge. We would come and serve a Jesus Loves You meal every year around Valentine's Day. And uh, just started getting warmed up to the ministry and just at that point I realized that my job of 20 years that I did uh, real estate, I sold real estate for a living. I was an owner broker for 20 years, selling the outer house. The Lord led me to this ministry to sell the inner house for Jesus. And it's just such a privilege to be a part of this. And I'm just so happy to be here. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, my name is Sandy Solomon, and I came into Brooklyn Teen Challenge about eight years ago when I was 17. Uh, my life before Brooklyn Teen Challenge and uh, getting saved, I was really lost as a young girl and found my purpose in uh, dating older men or you know whatever can just numb me and make me feel that I was worth it even if I didn't believe it. Um, I quickly just strayed away as a young girl and um, just having a lot of pressure and having to grow up really fast. Uh, made me have some kind of resentment. So once I found my freedom, um, I just quickly just uh, grew up in, in my teen years just really just flew by. And I didn't really know who I was and, and what I wanted in life. So I just kind of gave up on myself. And once things got really bad for me, when I got into a altercation where I almost got shot in the face, I called my mom and just asked her, you know, is there any place that I can go just to get away and get my mind right? Um, so she told me about Brooklyn Teen Challenge, and so I did. And at first, it didn't really make any sense, you know, being that I don't have any uh, drug problems, so I've never had any issues of that sort. But once I came here and being here after a week or two, I quickly realized that it wasn't by coincidence that there was a reason for me being here, and. I gave myself, you know, to the Lord and it took a while, you know, but I just wanted it to be real. And that's why it took me so long. I wanted my salvation to be because of something that he showed me and he quickly did. Um, like scales basically came off my eyes. Everything was new. Everything felt new. Everything made sense. And it's something that I had never felt before in my life. So I knew that it wasn't by a mistake. I knew that it's anything that I could have done or any man or, or anything could have done for me. So uh, once I, I became a believer, um, I just was sold out to the Lord. And even once I left, you know, and, and for two years, just kind of straight away from the Lord, those seeds were planted in me and my life could just not uh, be the same, even though I tried to dabble into other things um, to satisfy you know, uh, the Lord just quickly reminded me, like, this is this is not where you belong. You know where you belong. And I came back to Teen Challenge and um, got my life restored. Now I'm in the Bro Brooklyn School of Ministry and I'm close to graduating. So this is a new chapter in my life. And I'm just really excited and really open to whatever he has. You know, as scared as I may be sometimes, I'm just trusting that I know nothing and he knows all things. So I'm just leaving my whole life in his hands. And 
Yeah, thank you so much. Hi, my name is Camille. How are you today? Um, I work here at Brooklyn Teen Challenge. I've been saved uh, 20 years. God came into my life 20 years ago, and he found me in a very broken, broken state. I was um, emotionally damaged. I was doing drugs and alcohol. Um, I was married um, to a man who did not treat me right. Um, and I came into uh, Freedom Chapel through a friend um, who brought me there um, due to um, my brokenness. And I've been there ever since. And God has worked miracles in my life. He has taken the easy stuff away from me and now is dealing with the stuff in the heart. Um, when I was a young girl, I was sexually molested at seven. And I never told anybody, but um, it brought me to a place of very much insecurity. And um, as I grew, um, you know, I had loving and wonderful parents, but emotionally, um, they couldn't help me in certain ways like Jesus can, you know. And then when God came into my life, he started healing my emotions. I did have a drug and alcohol pro problem, and I did go through the program on the outpatient program, and it was wonderful. It helped me to realize, you know, where I was and, and, and who was my savior. And um, as I started going through the process, uh, my ex-husband was um, in prison, and, um, and my mom had just passed away, so it was a really tough time for me. But God came into my life and saved me, and he took, took hold of me and showed me the love of Christ and the love of a church family and the love that I've never seen before. And um, so now I'm totally um, uh, surrendered to him and I love him with all my heart and God has brought me uh, into the mission field and um, I travel, I want to travel all over the world and I've traveled uh, quite a few places um, spreading the news to the, to the poor and the homeless and um, and to the orphans and to um, the widows. And um, I'm so grateful. You know, God has brought me out of a bad relationship and brought me to Brooklyn and brought me to full-time ministry. I've been in full-time ministry for five years now, and I'm so grateful. You know, God has um, healed me of cancer recently, and um, he brought me to a place where I needed to totally depend on him, and that's just our God, you know. And, um, and I, I'm totally healed now, and I walk in victory. And I'm looking forward to um, spending the rest of my life serving him because it's all about serving him. Hi, Candy. So I want to thank you so much, you know, for allowing me to share my testimony and really be sincere with these people. Uh, and I would like to thank you so much also for letting me share um, the power and the, and the love of Jesus Christ. And I just wanted to pray for these people so they can accept Jesus into their lives and they can be changed and transformed just like I was because it's one encounter with Jesus that can change your life forever. So we just give them all the praise and we'll just pray in agreement right now. So if you're watching, uh, just uh, say, Lord Jesus, I accept you into my life. I know that I'm a sinner and I'm in need of a savior. So Jesus, we ask you to just come take control that you would be the Lord of my life. And Jesus, we ask you from this day on that we're a changed person, that we're a new creation. Thank you, Lord God. We just thank you for everyone who's watching right now, Lord God, that, that they would be a changed creation, Lord God, that they would just be a new person, Father God, that all the old things have passed away, Lord God. Second Corinthians says, 5, 517 says, therefore, if any man is in, a, uh, in Christ, he is a new creation. So all the old things have passed. Everything becomes new. And by the renewing of your mind, you would begin to change. I just pray right now, Lord God, for the anointing to shake the next generation, that there is power in the name of Jesus and those people who are watching right now would just begin to break free of everything they're struggling with in Jesus name Lord God we thank you Lord God for the opportunity Lord God on this television cast Lord God and this company Lord God and candy Lord God we just pray that you bless her Lord God and we just pray for everyone watching right now that they would just begin to get set free in Jesus name by the sound of my voice and the word of my testimony and the power of Jesus Christ because he can break the chains off your life amen Amen. Amen. God bless you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. 
He anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted and preach deliverance to the captives. Hallelujah. I'm fighting the same demons that my father had. It. Except I'm busting with the Holy Ghost automatic. Covered by the grace of my holy dad. He using me a little ghetto boy. Imagine that. I'm from a small hood. Some call it Harrisburg. It's right off Broadway. OG's called it 83rd. It's home of the serve. And DJ screw you heard. See, God and took me from the streets and planted me in words. Yeah, yeah, I'm kicking the doors, I'm off in their face. Ay, ay, ay. I'm coming with love, I'm covered in grace. Hold up, hold up. He loving you, man, your sin is erased. Tell him again, man, he loving you, dog, your sin is erased. Never again be held up in sin. He wash it out clean, you free to go in. Just follow the speed and straight replaying. I read to the Come end and say that we Come win. I read to the Come end and say that we Come win. We hear the legend. You have been equipped with Ephesians 6. You are ready for battle from head to toe. I'm letting you know to hit the front line. Your tongue will be a fiery whip in the pits of hell. You have been sealed with the blood of the Lamb. You have been clothed with the royal robe of righteousness. You have been called to a higher calling. You are meant to dwell within the secret place of the Most High. Walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Parole violation, I done murdered the flesh. Taking shots to the chest, bulletproof vests. Ready for the warfare, unite to take the souls back. Fifth war renegade, train to go. Get your handcuffs out, I done murdered the flow. Say you heard it before. Billy boy, you mistaken, I reach in the streets, all gas, no breaking. I can see the seraphim, the veil is torn. Redeem of the Lord, we done been reborn. My boy Vega hit me up, said, duh, we gotta reach him. If we don't catch him early, them cells is gon' teach him. I agree, 100, you ain't got to ask. Only what you do for Christ gon' last. Holla at me, taking back the street without a gun or mask. I'm talking quick, fast, spiritual whiplash. I I am grateful to serve beside you. It is you that is written about in the ancient days and the ancient texts. The prophets dreamed and have visions about you. Welcome to the gathering of the saints and the elect. Can't you see the chariots of God's army around you? Can't you see the pillars of fire that go out before you? It is you who has been chosen. Ready for step up on the battlefield, man, I'm fully equipped. Take it back to the left flank. Yeah, that's my soul's mission. I'm coming for the POWs in the MIAs. I use my sword to break every chain and free all the slaves. And as the war rages, the enemy starts to flee. And fear of the crazy Scottish that be lurking deep inside of me. I'm here to bring liberation, no hesitation, no full invasion. Hear the sounds of the show for a revelations. We bum rushing the gates of hell, we going in for his. And taking our souls back, show you this kingdom biz. And with my father that guides me, and all this army behind me, you better duck and run for cover this be that missionary minded. Going in for the lost and the blinded, take it back where it belongs to the king. We marching forward, dressed for war, and that is feet fatigue. And when they see us stepping in, they scatter like some roaches. They won't even approach us, cause we them Jesus soldiers. Last time I checked, the tribe of Judah lives inside of you. It is time that you stand on your feet and let your lion roar. You have been called to lay hands on the sick. When you walk in the room, you are the light and demons flee. You will cast them back down to the pits of hell. You will bind them and gag them. You will choke them out, throw them back to the feet of righteousness, because every knee will bow. Addiction Free Ministry presents powerful resources written by its CEO, Candy Rose. Her autobiography, Spirits of Seduction, proves Christ can transform any lifestyle from X rated to G rated. Candy Rose believes testimonies build faith, encouraging others they too can have that new life in Christ. Go to Amazon.com or their website, AddictionFreeMinistry.com, to receive these life changing resources for yourself or a loved one. There is help, there is hope. I just encourage, if you're struggling with any kind of addiction or you know someone uh, in, a, in your family or someone, just maybe one layer of, of connection of a person removed from you, please proactively take the initiative to reach out to them and say, hey, I saw this program where, you know what, there's actually help. There's actually hope. We'll be happy to talk to you, happy to bring you in or talk to you about that loved one that needs to come in.
Hi, my name is Jeremy Hudson. I'm the program director at the Father's House. We're located in Donaldson, Arkansas. We're a six-month residential program that helps men and women with uh, addiction problems and other life-controlling behaviors. You'll learn in our program how to not only work hard, but also through the disciplines of the Bible, you will learn how to follow God hard. I'm Richie Willis, and this is my wife, Carly Willis. Uh, we both run homes in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We both come out of addictions and out of a long life of bondage of of drugs and alcohol, and uh, we've been set free by the blood of Jesus, and uh, God has radically taken over our lives, and now we both have ministry. She has a, a house for women, and I have a house for two houses for men, um, and they're faith-based houses, and we just thank God for it. This is Pastor Tim and my lovely wife, Leslie. Uh, we pastor New Life Church, but we also run Project New Start Recovery Homes. Uh, these are homes designed to help men and women overcome addiction, bondages. We deal with any type of bondage that there is. We've been doing this for 20 years. God has just uh, literally changed lives through faith in Jesus Christ. If you need us, uh, give us a call. If you're serious about getting your life together, give us a call at 870-523-8413. The Harbor Home is really a house of miracles. It is located in a small church in central Arkansas, in Conway, Arkansas, and it's a faith-based program anywhere from six months to one year, uh, residential for women coming out of drug and alcohol addiction. We have women of all ages that come to the Harbor Home and from all over the United States. And really an opportunity for you to come to realize your value and your worth and uh, really to develop and cultivate a real relationship with Jesus Christ, which we believe is the answer for all addictive behaviors. Tell me how you came to know me. Was it at some preacher's plea? Were you all bound up with worry? When he came to set you free? Did it take you your whole lifetime To release the debt you owe? Or did you answer him the first time And relinquish all control? I need to hear somebody testify I need to hear somebody say yeah, That you were lost and at the bottom And you could not find your way Just when life had lost all meaning And you wish that you could die Jesus came to you that day